Hey guys, welcome back to Recreational Sniper. This is kind of a little bit of a teaser, but I have put one of my Arkans on a 20 MO8 uh, cantilever mount on top of my AR-10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Me and my dad got to talking about this, and it was like, I wonder if we can have a compact long range setup well i've run the ballistic numbers and with the ammunition that runs really well in this gun the cellular and bellet or soleil and below or however you want to pronounce it with the 140 grain fmjs i've run the ballistic data with a muzzle velocity of 2600 feet per second which is what i'm getting from this 16 inch barrel and with 74 minutes of usable elevation range uh, with the scope combined with that 20 MOA mount, we should have enough elevation range to get this rifle beyond 1,400 yards. So, it's a theory. So, this weekend I'm going to be taking this rifle out and I'm going to be testing it for group size and accuracy with the scope on here it shoots good with a little five power prism that i was that i did have on it but with a five power prism you know you can only aim so small you know out there so my group sizes with it were typically about one and a half to two inches at 100 yards so hopefully with a little bit higher power magnification and maybe shooting prone I'll be able to shrink those groups right down to, you know, hopefully about an inch. I'm, I'm aiming for an inch. If I can get them down to an inch, I'll be tickled to death uh, to get an inch out of this gun, which I think it's capable of doing. Uh, a couple details about this gun is it's got a Wilson Combat bolt carrier, match bolt carrier with a matching Wilson Combat match barrel uh, area. 419 Hellfire Brake, Caldwell XLA Bipod, and I've got the Rise Armament two-stage trigger. So it really has a trigger that's about, uh, I want to say one and a half pounds. It, you know, somewhere in there, one and a half, one, three quarter pounds. So it's pretty, pretty crisp for an AR, to say the least. Um, yeah. I built this off of uh, Aero Precision stuff, the M5 upper and lower, and I've got the Aero uh, M5, I think that's the R1 handguard on it, so it's actually a pretty lightweight setup without this scope. Now, you add this scope to it, and the weight on this thing jumps up there quite a bit, but uh, I got my, of course, my little flashlight over there, but anyways, I'm going to take this this weekend shoot some groups see what it'll do at you know 100 200 300 and if we see some promising results i'm going to take it out to the pipeline and uh we'll first attempt 900 or 950 yards is our short range out there so uh that's our going to be our first attempt and then the second attempt will be up there around 1400 plus so yeah let's see how it goes let me know what you think in the comments below is she gonna make it will this thing make it that far or is it just gonna have crappy accuracy and not make it that far i don't know we're gonna find out anyways i want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time in the next video